Okay guys, in this video I'm going to talk about Pina Love, one of the best online dating sites in the Philippines. I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible, so I'm just going to quickly go through all the reasons you would sign up, as well as some of the benefits. First reason, the great reason to sign up for this site is that it has over 951,000, almost approaching a million members, and it always has tons and tons of Filipino girls from all over the country, mostly in Manila and Cebu and it's 100 percent free to create an account and you can send a message every 10 minutes and they also have a really nice app and a really nice android so the real reason this is a good tool for you is because you will not only meet girls easier but because i've been uh, listening to a lot of your complaints a lot of you guys have been saying you've been coming here and you're not getting a lot of attention or it's harder to meet girls here or some of them are shy and the first thing about filipino girls is they're extremely shy around foreigners and some of them don't speak good english even though english is widely spoken a lot of girls don't have good English skills, so online dating is kind of a, a, a you know a low low maintenance, easier way for them to reach out to foreigners. Whereas if in public, they might be a bit more shy around you. The second reason is there are a lot of girls here that will try to get into your pockets, try to charge you money and things like that. And on Pina Love, there's very few girls that are going to ask you for money. Sometimes the girls might ask you money to pay for their taxi, but no one's going to be asking you for like money exchange for sexual services or massages or anything like that so that's another good thing and the third thing is you can meet girls in advance if you guys are coming here for like less than a week you don't have any time to waste so it's best for you to start sending messages around three weeks to a month before your trip so you can kind of fill things out and then you can get make a good connection with the girl you guys can exchange skype or something like that whatsapp so that right when you get here you can meet her and uh you know get the job done so i'm just going to quickly go over the site uh, I'm just going to quickly show you guys around and then uh, we're going to talk more about signing up and things like that. Okay, great. So uh, on this account, this is a premium account. I have the premium account. Um, okay, so the premium account costs $24.99 per month. But if you sign up for longer term, you get a discount. If you sign up for three months, it's only 50 bucks, And if you sign up for one year, it's only 100 bucks. Now, I know a lot of you guys are thinking... Okay, now a lot of you guys are thinking, oh, you know, I just want to use an, a free dating site. Well, one of the reasons is, is, the good thing is to have a premium account here is that the whole send a message every 10 minutes gets lifted. So if you're here for only a few days and you just signed up, you don't have time to sit there and wait every 10 minutes. And sometimes the girls here, you know, even if you send out a message like, hi, my name is John, you know, I'm in Manila, would you like to meet, things like that. They start asking you a lot of questions because, you know, they're really shy around foreigners. So if they keep asking you questions, you have to keep waiting like every 10 minutes to send a message. A con you know, a, a conversation that could take, you know, 10, 15 minutes it ended up taking hours. You really don't have time to waste here. So best thing to do is upgrade to a premium account. Second reason to upgrade to a premium account is that not only will you be saving your time, but you'll be saving money. Um, if you're going out in places like tourist areas like Makati or you're going out in the red light dish, which like Malate, every time you go out, you're going to be spending at least 20 or 30 bucks. The drinks are not so cheap here. And you've got to get around the city. You've got to take grabs or, you know, ride share, use ride share apps. Uber actually got, uh, Uber actually sold their business to a company called Grab. So you're going to have to get ride share apps. You're probably going to buy something to eat. So if you go out anyway, you're going to spend at least 20 bucks and you're not even guaranteed to meet anybody. A lot of times, you know, you could just end up coming home smash drunk or something like that. So you just wasted your night, you know, and I don't even recommend getting drunk. In a place like Manila anyway, it's not like Thailand. It's just not safe to get drunk here. So, since you're probably going to be, should be spending more time sober anyway, it's a better investment of your time to simply, you know, go out if you want to, but also have the, the penal love in your back pocket so that now, if things don't go so well when you go out for nightlife, boom, you can easily meet girls online. And there's some nights where you just don't feel like going out anyway, and you can still meet women. So, this is the best tool you can use. So, let me just quickly show you around it. Um... Okay, so in Pinot Love, the girls have a basic profile. Um, it's basic. Uh, it shows you their profile name. The green thing says they're online now. If it's green, it means they're online. You can send them a message to see your interest, me see your message right away. Uh, you can browse through their pictures. See, take a look. Now, a lot of these girls, they don't, they don't um, live in the most expensive parts of the city. So if you do contact them chances are they're not going to be living like if you're staying in a place like Makati 
or Melati or something like that, they're going to probably be staying somewhere outside of the city. So they're going to have to come to you. So a lot of times, um, sometimes these girls don't have a lot of money. They will ask you to pay money for their transport, which might mean a taxi or a jeepney or something like that. But it's nothing like if you go out to the red light districts and you got girls asking you for tons and tons of money for, you know, services or things like that. So that's one of the nice things about this site. Also, they have a nice feature called lists. If you sign up for a premium account, it shows you who's viewed your profile. A lot of times you can follow up and uh, message girls that have viewed your profile, but are kind of shy and things like that. And it's just a really nice feature here. So, you know, all you have to do is just um, create a free account. You know, I'm going to I'm gonna wrap this video up and just quickly talk about some more things that you can do. So once you create your account, you want to fill out your details, fill out your profile, you know, put some nice photos of yourself. You need about two to three photos is probably best. Um, you can pick a featured photo as well. You can rotate it, switch things up, see how it works on your reply rates. Another thing you guys do is don't write so much personal information in your profile. Keep things a bit vague. The reason why I say this is you don't want to talk about having a lot of money because you're going to attract gold diggers and you don't want to, to answer too many questions because the whole point of the profile is just to get the girls to contact you then they can ask you all the questions that you want that they want to ask you and that'll build their interest better and then the last thing I want to talk about is if anybody asks you for money if anybody is trying to sell you sex or massage services or something just say no because honestly uh, this stuff is illegal here in the Philippines and when you're on this online dating site this is supposed to be dating site it's not supposed to be a prostitution site you guys you don't know who's tracking you you don't know if if, there's, if someone's being paid using a fake profile to lure you in to some to some police thing or something like that so just be smart if any girl simply asks you for money you can just simply say no and if 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 they don't understand no you can just simply block them uh, it's really easy to do uh, all you have to do is just wait a second you guys how to do that so if anybody's asking you for money or just bothering you there's a little check mark right here you can just hit block user and also what you can do is sometimes you see a girl you like but you know maybe you just don't feel like writing a message you can click the show interest tab as well that'll let them know that you're interested in them and then you can add them as a favorite as well now most of these a lot of these features you can only do with the premium account and things like that so now I want to give you guys some advanced tips right so let's say you guys <laughs> you guys want the thick Filipino girls now one of the nice things about the Philippines is that most Asian girls are really not thick meaning like they're not flat but like they just don't they're not super curvy right well since the Filipino girls have a lot of them have Spanish blood so you're gonna see some big curvy women out here some big booties so let me show you how to, to search for those what you want to do is is you want to go over here to this weight this weight feature now it's kind of confusing because on the left side it's kilos but there's pounds so what I've generally found is that the more curvier girls are probably in the Philippines they're probably gonna start right around I'd say I'd say you can start right around about 55 kilos something like that because the average Filipino girl is pretty short and she doesn't weigh that much so the average girl here is probably like 99 pounds 45 kilos so if you want some of the curvier girls you can just click the 55k start from there so did that kind of just a screen out the the smaller girls and it'll only show you um, basically the thicker girls and then you just hit search all right so this will kind of show you those thicker Filipino girls that's what you guys are into you see as you can see here a lot of the girls here are nice and thick right see very thick nice anyway so that's one tip use the weight feature at least fill it 55 kilos if you guys are into super the super super big Filipino girls you can just simply move down you hit that search feature you can go to about 60 kilos 60 kilos for Filipino girls a lot okay and another tip single mothers a lot of women here on the site there are a single mother problem in the Philippines um, it just the guys here they just they just you know they just a lot of times they'll have sex with these girls and they just won't take care of their kids so if you want to if you want to filter that all you have to do is just hit on but you can only do this on premium accounts right you just hit no children right and then so let's change that back and then this will show you all the girls that have no children so any of you guys out there want to avoid single mothers like the plague or just don't want to hear crap about oh my kid needs this and all this stuff or my son boom filter them out 
no children. Another tip. So, some of you guys out there, maybe you want to date the, the highly educated Filipino girl, right? You want to date, or you're looking for a wife, and maybe you, you have a master's degree or a PhD or something like that, or you have a, a doctorate, right? And you're looking to meet the educated Filipino girls. What you want to do is you get that premium account. You come over here, hit that bachelor's degree button. This will sort out all the girls that are educated. And then if you want a super educated girl, just hit master's degree. See, so these are some quick tips that you kind of uh, filter out and maneuver around the site so you guys can find girls that you're more attracted to and that you'll be happier with. So that's it. I'm going to start wrapping this video up. Um, to sign up for Pina Love, just click the link in the description or you can type it into your, your cell phone or your browser right now. Just type in expatkings.com slash Pina Love. The reason I ask you to use that link is so I get credit for referring you. Um, I really, my goal is to really help you guys uh, meet women and, 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 and travel to countries, have fun and stay safe. And the best way I can do that is if you guys sign up uh, through my links. Every time you sign up under my link, I do get credit and I do get compensated for your sign up. It really helps uh, the channel and it really helps Expect Kings and it allows me to provide all of this content to you for you without charging anything. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just putting out the best information I can do possibly for you guys, for you guys that haven't traveled, you guys that are, are travel experts or veterans, um, you know, my goal is to serve you. So if you have any questions or you need any help with anything, if you're looking to meet women, if you're traveling for the best foods, if you, if you want to sightsee or anything like that, just let me know. And the best way you can support this channel is by signing up for penalove.com under my uh, referral link. So that's it. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, take care of yourself and uh, have fun out there.